Hello, my name is Dr. Shivani Rameshwar Pakhare, second year junior resident from Department of Radio Diagnosis from Dr. Ullas Patil Medical College and Hospital, Jalgaon, Maharashtra. And the topic of my paper presentation is role of computed tomography as a primary modality in evaluation of traumatic head injury. Introduction: The term head injury is synonymous to traumatic brain. injury or craniocerebral trauma and is used interchangeably head injury is trauma resulting injury to the scalp skull or brain in a rapidly developing country such as india urbanization and industrialization is the important cause for increased road transportation this leads to head injuries due to road traffic accidents computed tomography remains the mainstay for initial diagnostic evaluation of head trauma patients the fast examination time wide availability lack of contraindication and high accuracy for detecting hemorrhages have made ct the diagnostic study of choice for initial evaluation of head injury aim and objectives this study attempts to evaluate and assess the role of computed tomography in patients with head injury and compare the type of cerebral insult on ct imaging in patients with head injury with their clinical outcome materials and methods this study was conducted in the department of radio diagnosis of dr ullas patil medical college and hospital jalgaon maharashtra in 50 patients presenting to the emergency department with head injury a complete clinical history of the patients was noted on proforma which included age sex and type of injury the type of trauma was further classified into road traffic accidents falls and assaults Follow-up of patient during their hospital stay was performed. After initial resuscitation, severity of the craniocerebral injury was graded with the help of Glasgow Coma Scale. The patient were examined in CT scanner in supine position. The cantilever tilt was given in range of 0 to 20 degrees so as to parallel the scan plane to the orbitomedial line. The patients were evaluated by plain axial CT scan of brain using 64 slice MD CT scanner with thin section. Bone algorithm and wide window settings were studied to visualize the various craniocerebral changes. Inclusion criteria patients of all age group with head trauma head trauma that has occurred within 24 hours exclusion criteria cranial trauma during childbirth and patients with non traumatic intracranial bleeding results out of the total 50 patient involved in the study 43 cases were male and 7 were female cases showing male predominance according to our observation road traffic accident was found to be the commonest mode of head injury followed by other mode of injury such as falls and assault of the total 50 patient 11 patient had normal ct finding and 39 patient had abnormal ct findings incidence of various lesion as observed on ct imaging modality contusions seen in 17 number of cases subdural hematoma seen in 16 cases midline shift was seen in 8 cases subarachnoid hematoma in 8 cases extradural hematoma in 7 cases intracerebral hematoma in 4 cases Pneumocephalus in four cases, cerebral edema in three cases, intraventricular hematoma in two cases, and fractures in 22 cases. Grading of head injury based on GCS score, mild with GCS score between 13 to 15. The number of cases seen were 25. Moderate GCS score range in 9 to 12. Number of cases seen were 20. And severe with GCS score less than 8. The number of cases seen were 5. Uh, patient with a GCS score of less than 8 the number of cases seen were 5 in which two of the patient could not survive with a GCS score in between range of 9 to 12 number of cases seen were 20 in which one patient did not survive and between GCS score of 13 to 15 the number of cases seen were 25 in which all the patients survived discussion males were found to be more predominant than females in the present study this male predominance can be attributed to increased outdoor activity and travel by males in the present study patients in the age group of 21 to 30 years form the bulk of the study this age group is the most active group of society who spend most of their time out of their house for work and to earn the livelihood are more prone to accidents head injury is seen commonly in socially and economically productive age group of population and hence has an impact on the financial aspect of the road traffic accident were found to be the commonest mode of injury in present study a study in ghana and another in nigeria showed road traffic accident were the commonest causes of head injury linear fracture were found to be commonest type of fracture followed by depressed fractures contusion Was found to be the commonest intracranial lesion detected on CT, accounting for 34% in the present study. Subdural hematoma was found to be the commonest type of hemorrhage noted, accounting for 32% in the present study. Intraventricular hemorrhage was the least common lesion noted in an incidence of 4% in the present study. Lee Rooks and Lee J P 
in their studies had stated that IVH is noted in 1 to 5% of all patients with head injury. In the present study, poor outcome was noted with GCS score of less than 8 with a mortality of 40% followed by 5% in patients with GCS of 9 to 12 and 0% in patients with 13 to 15 GCS score. Study conducted by Gordon Stewart reported an incidence of 34.5% mortality with a GCS score of less than 8. This increased mortality in a patient with reduced GCS score is probably due to more severe primary brain insult associated. Uh, these are some of the images from my uh, study. The first image shows acute uh, EDH noted overlying both basal temporal lobes. The second image shows acute SDH with small hemorrhagic contusions noted in both frontal lobes. The first image shows intercerebral hematoma with surrounding edema noted in left capsuloganglionic region extending into the ventricular system and adjacent temporoparietal lobes. The second image shows comminuted displaced fractures in both the temporal lobes. Conclusion Head injury causes more deaths and disability than any other neurologic condition before age of 50 and occurs in more than 70% of accidents, which are the leading cause of death in men less than 50. 35 year age. Neuroimaging techniques provide most, some of the most important diagnostic, prognostic and pathophysiological information in the management of brain injury. Anatomical imaging modalities can help assess intracranial hemorrhage, fracture and other structural lesions. Besides the correct diagnosis itself, the time to establish a diagnosis above all has a crucial impact on successful management and good outcome of these patients. Computer tomography is a simple, inexpensive, highly effective and safe imaging modality and provides the ability to rapidly evaluate patient with acute head injury. CT aids in surgical planning, prognosticating outcome and recovery time. It can demonstrate significant primary traumatic injuries including extradural, subdural, intracerebral hematoma, subarachnoid and intraventricular hemorrhages, skull fracture, cerebral edema, contusion and cerebral herniation. CT is one of the most comprehensive diagnostic modality for accurate localization of the site of injury and trauma to head. Thus, it is justifiable to conclude that CT is and should be considered the first imaging of choice in acute head injury as it forms the cornerstone for rapid and effective diagnosis. These are my references. Thank you.